My name is Mike Watson. I'm the CEO of TubeTech International and we specialize in removing fouling uh, from all assets around the world, any industry, any process. Um, we are located in the UK uh, in a place called Rayleigh in Essex and we have offices uh, in Houston uh, in Europe and joint ventures in China and France. I started uh, the company about 37 years ago uh, with a view to challenging convention uh, and tradition. I found uh, on a national scale initially that everybody was using the same machine, same technology to remove uh, fouling from different assets. Um, I started the company in the back of a double garage um, and the, uh, it started like any contractor. You wake up one morning and you say, I'm going to clean something. I need to make a living. So you pick up the phone, you ring around, you get a job, you go down there. What I noticed very, very quickly was when I started buying technology, a cleaning equipment, I found that the equipment was very unreliable. And that's why cleaning contractors really had a bad reputation. Now you or anybody else who's untrained can wake up tomorrow and become a cleaning contractor. If the client allows you, and some clients do, uh, you can go up to the door, knock on the door and say, I've got a high pressure jetting pump, um, 10,000 PSI, uh, I'd like to give you a price and my price will be half of what you're paying. So immediately you think they're getting a good deal. You have no skills, you have no experience, but you have a high pressure jetting pump. It makes you a contractor. That is wrong on every single level. So from that, I did, uh, quickly realized I had to develop my own technology. Uh, which uh, I did and as time has progressed I find there is a, um, a bigger need for remote technology but what I did find was there are too many fatalities um, too many incidents happening because people were using 10,000 up to 40,000 psi water which is the speed of the jet is as fast as a, a bullet from a machine gun we decided to do it ourselves and invent our own robots so now our niche is removing fouling from assets that typically no other company can or other companies struggle. So when there's a challenge um, and really if somebody said it can't be done, uh, it's like a red rag to a bull. We will find a way, we'll invent something specifically and we'll work very, very closely with the client. So that's our speciality. Well, I'd say the, uh, the current situation of the water jetting industry, as I see it personally, is one uh, with a lack of communication between the client and the contractor. There's always been and still is this barrier between the client and the cleaning contractor. Uh, the client keeps their cards close to the chest and so does the contractor. If there was a closer relationship and sharing of information, um, and accurate information, then there will be a major step forward. But the reason for this uh, resistance to change, to sharing information, is quite simply because the prices are so competitive with all the contractors doing the same job, and really the customer rubs their hands together and thinks we've got a great, uh, a great opportunity to keep the price down. That's not in anyone's interest. So if the client were to say the benefit to us by doing something faster, safer, uh, cleaner to a higher standard, uh, in situ without pulling it apart, um, safer, dry, without waste, if those values could be made um, apparent to the contractor, it would allow the contractors to innovate, to invent. But that just doesn't happen. I think the concern is always to get the right information from the customer. Often is the case that the customers don't have all the information themselves with which to make a rational decision. So they rely heavily on the consultant, the supplier and the contractor to make the decision for themselves. But if you look at the potential benefit of a contractor, any contractor, service provider, giving a better service because they receive better information, the return on investment for the client is, will be between 20, 30 and 50 to 1. Associations uh, can bring, as far as the value is concerned to uh, industry suppliers, is um, standardization. 
there's no uh, consistency in standard. And that's because there's no communication going in and the, often the culture uh, within a company is very um, parochial. They want to keep to themselves, we know better. So the association really is there to inform, to educate, to advise, to give the, uh, the different cultures and contractors in the industry an opportunity of choice, an informed choice. But that includes the customers as well. It's absolutely key and essential that both contractors, suppliers, let's just call them, and the customers are uh, in equal measure. One is no good with the other. We have to have as many contractors as there are equipment suppliers, as there are consultants, as there are manufacturers, and also end users. And when you have all those people in one room, then you can start having some fun.